guys. This is for Capricorn, May 2020. Sorry, I'm a little late. Better late than never. I'm gonna start off with a song or a quote. You've got uh, Michael, and I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Cold Little Heart. So much pride running through my veins, it says. For your fortune card, you got Coffin, Suffering. So Suffering because of Pride, maybe. And for your Enigma card, you got the Wing. So, the Goals, Ability to Propel Something Towards Completion, Escape. Rising above circumstances. I'll read the coffin. The coffin symbolizes suffering. If this card is drawn, it is the result of a bad decision. The suffering that is being suffered is due to cause and effect. This is a decision you have caused. This card brings your attention to that decision. This card shows that action needs to be taken to resolve any poor decision you have made. Apologies may need to be given to a person you have hurt. Also means a situation of suffering is coming to an end and a new beginning is emerging. So stick to your goals and whatever the suffering and pride is about should be good. Got the Nine of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. So a wish come true, a destined wish. Um, Wheel of Fortune speaks of a change, speaks of the ups and downs of life and karma. So the wheel's going to be turning and you will be getting a wish granted. The second week of May. We've got the Five of Pentacles with the Magician. Feeling um, financial hardship left out in the cold, but the Magician always has a plan, and if it's a good one, the universe will be behind it. You have the skill, the confidence, the power, and the concentration to make it happen. For your third week, you have, not surprised, the Tower and the Eight of Wands. So, something coming to a shocking, I don't want to say end, but something's going to be shooken up. What you know of will no longer be. Um, lots of communication. Or it could be a shocking circumstance where new love comes in. That's possible too. Eight of Wands speaks a lot about communication though. And for the last week, you have the King of Cups with the High Priestess. So a male water sign, um, usually stoic and has a it doesn't have a cold little heart but i guess it depends on who they're dealing with and the high priestess somebody sitting in silence that knows what's going on just doesn't speak about it so you have the high priestess and the magician this could be a couple one's not speaking their feelings and one's trying to manifest their feelings. Somebody's suffering, somebody has too much pride. Let's get some clarification. So for the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, please. Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Five of Pentacles, Magician. Tower, Eight of Wands, King of Cups, High Priestess. 
So the Nine of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. Something destined with maybe a childhood friend, a soulmate, um, somebody that you share a soul contract, a soul bond with. But it says the house denotes success in all ventures. If present conditions are unpleasant, excuse me, the future will be happy and prosperous. Also predicts marriage. So, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Cups. Some love and happiness going on there. But whoever this magician is feels left out in the cold. Um, but they got the bouquet of flowers, an absolute indication of long and happy life. But you have the Ten of Cups with that, so it means whatever the magician is going to try to manifest, it will come through. You also have three kings here now. Gotta check what that means. Uh, consultation. So maybe somebody's going through some kind of law thing. So you have the King of Swords, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups. So you pick one, Capricorn, who you might be dealing with. Maybe they're just aspects of your sign. Um, so with this one, you have the Bear is a sign of successful speculation. So that's the King of Wands also. The Tower with communicating with a male Earth sign, maybe. And then the King of Cups with the High Priestess, you have the King of Swords, the Bride. Bride ensures for a single person the fulfillment of their highest aims when near. If distant, could be a married, turbulent wife. A turbulent married life, sorry. Um, but... This bride coming out, this bouquet, uh, the house, the Ten of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Cups. It's an indication of some sincere love going on around here. So maybe somebody does need to put down their pride, stop suffering in vain. I'll read this one again. Goals, ability to propel something towards completion, escape, rising above circumstances. Let's get you a bird card. got the swan. Swans, it should say, I guess. A tranquil spirit comes with accepting inner dichotomy. So. If you want to suffer, it's kind of up to you. But, uh, all will be and can be well. Good luck, Capricorn.